Well, good morning all. Ariel Bartzadok here from the Kosher Tour School, found online at koshertour.com. It is 27th of June, 2019. Still here in sunny Southern California in the week following AlienCon 19 here in L.A. And it is time to talk about our weekly Torah portion. The Torah portion is called Shalach. It's the story of the 12 spies who went out to spy out the Promised Land. Stories recorded in Numbers chapters 13 and 14, for those of you who want to read it. Pretty simple story. Twelve guys go out to check out the land. Not by God's command, not even by Moses. The people. The same people who were experiencing the miracles of the Exodus, who experienced the miracles of the Ten Commandments, Mount Sinai, and all that other weird supernatural, possibly extraterrestrial stuff that went on. They still have the jitters inside. How are we going to accomplish realistic practical accomplishments in life. So they went out to spy out the land. Twelve go out, ten come back completely terrified. They were paralyzed with fear, unable to deal with the ramifications of the future. Their fear spread through the entire nation and paralyzed everybody. It was so bad that God said, you know something? I took these people out of Egypt, but I can't get the Egypt out of the people. Psychologically, they were still enslaved. God said, I can't, I can't do that. Limit, limit of the divine powers right there, all right? Can't change the human heart. God says, there's only one thing to do. The people who are afraid, they just gotta live out their lives and die. The new generation that never knew slavery, that never knew fear, they are the ones who will rise up and and quote, <clears throat> conquer the promised land. This is such a vital and important lesson for us today. You see, even though you can take somebody out of physical bondage, if psychologically they're still in a bad state, then that bad state's gonna follow them through everything in life. This applies to us in everything that we do. How many of us are in bad relationships, bad situations, bad jobs? And then we actually get out of the bad physical place, the bad physical position. And yet that mindset, that negative mindset follows through with us, causing us to sabotage ourselves in our future endeavors. You'll forgive my unrabbinic language. That really sucks. Just like the sound of that helicopter <laughs> flying overhead right now. Remember, I don't believe in disturbances. I believe everything has a purpose, right? This is part and parcel of everything. We can't let something even like the noise of a helicopter disturb us and break us down. No, move forward, move forward. That's what we gotta do. So let me continue here. Overcoming fear is vital. I have uh, for my those on my website, uh, my uh, essay on overcoming fear. And I actually quote to you from the litany of fear from one of my favorite science fiction novels, Dune. It's important to learn, it's important to read, it's important to act, because you never ever overcome fear by just the statement of your mind. It is what you do. Many people today in the greater world are afraid of all kinds of things. We dealt with at alien con, people are afraid of the extraterrestrial presence. They're afraid of disclosure, what our governments know and don't know, what they're gonna reveal and not reveal. And I tell people none of that matters. What matters is this, is you. You can experience. You can overcome fear. For those of you who don't already know, I am offering my course on the Book of Enoch, which is all about the Enochian ascent and how and what it meant and how we apply it today. And a lot of people come to me and say, oh, Robert, isn't that dangerous? Uh, we shouldn't do that stuff. Uh, it's all mystical and powerful and sublime. And I say, will you stop the fear factors? If you want to know if something is good or bad for you, try it yourselves. Isn't that the simplest thing in the world? If and when somebody offers you a new something, a new food to eat, all right? From our point of view, if it's kosher, you try it, right? It's not like I'm putting, you know, cyanide or arsenic in front of you that's going to kill you. No. Try it. See. I guarantee you that if you practice the Enochian sense, if you learn 
what it means to expand your mind, to overcome your own inner personal fears, you will experience a greater reality. And yes, it will put you in touch with higher realms, which will take you a good while in order to digest intellectually and emotionally. But right from the start, the experiences will transform your lives. I don't care about what's up there in the heavens. It doesn't matter. Okay? We're not here to talk about the afterlife or God or anything else. We're talking about the here and the now in this world and how you can change your life in this world. And how are you going to do that? By recognizing the greater reality of the world around us, where your place is in that greater reality and why you do not have to be a victim of fear. You can overcome. You can accomplish all you have to do is choose to do so. My course, it's available to you. Half price, it's on the 4th of July. Celebration of freedom, your freedom. Not something of a lesson from history in the past, but a celebration of your present and the here and the now. Recognize the value and the importance of overcoming fear, of balancing yourself internally, and then moving forward from that. That is the great emancipation. Everybody can do this. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are. Even if you are incarcerated in a prison, you can be free. Whether your prison is physical walls or emotional or psychological walls, you can be free. I have the ways that I can share with you. I can't do the work for you. You got to do the work yourselves. All I can do is show you how. So. You take that challenge for yourselves. This week, Torah portion, Shalach. A lesson against fear and how fear is bad. Bad for them, bad for us, bad for you. Overcome fear. My prayer, my blessings to you. Okay? Check out my course. Don't be afraid to take it. Ariel Bartzadok here, Kosher Torah School, koshertorah.com. Looking forward to working with you in courage. Take care. Shalom.